Hello everyone and welcome back to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel where today we're going to go over the shortened PR interval using Langanong Levine syndrome or LGL syndrome as an example. So we know that a normal PR interval is anywhere between 0.12 and 0.20 seconds. We know that the PR interval is from the start of the P wave to the start of the QRS complex. So we say that the PR interval is shortened when it is less than or equal to 0.11 seconds. So let us say that we have a patient with Langanong Levine syndrome or LGL syndrome. This is a benign condition that is characterized by an accessory tract or an extra tract of fibers that bypass the AV node. These fibers are called James fibers and I've shown them here in pink. Remember that LGL syndrome is related to James fibers because we're going to learn about some other fibers and other conditions later on. It is important to know that these James fibers simply run from the atria, bypass the AV node, and then connect to the heart's normal electrical pathway in the ventricles. So essentially these fibers just skip over the AV node. However, it is important to note that these fibers connect in a way that only alters the electrical path through the AV node, meaning that our EKG will look completely normal. There will be no complex abnormalities with the exception of tachycardia and a shortened PR interval, which we know is defined as a PR interval that is less than or equal to 0.11 seconds. So why do we have tachycardia? Because in LGL syndrome, our patients, they don't have access to that nice AV node conduction delay. This puts them at a greater risk for experiencing a faster conduction from the atria to the ventricles in the form of tachycardia. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today and remember to like and subscribe for more content.